everybody, my name is Inspire Aspera, and welcome back to my Launchpad Light Effect tutorial series. This is a series where I show you guys how to make a certain Launchpad Light Effect, and if you want, you can follow along so you can learn how to make it to use it in one of your own videos. So today, if you uh, don't remember from the intro, I'll be making this uh, effect. So there you go, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make this effect. And so this red track right here, this this is my uh, demo track, that's what I just made. And so this green track, I've already gone and set up, I just made a separate MIDI track. And all that is, is what we're going to actually be making. So like if you were to do it at home following along, we'll just start with a fresh MIDI clip like this. So all I'm going to do is solo this track, just because I don't want, if I were to press play, nothing happens, which is good, we just start with a fresh slate. So I have this set up with my launch pad, I'm going to go into the MIDI clip, and we're going to learn how to make this effect. So, um, to start off, I would recommend turning on this icon, make sure it's blue by clicking it. Also make sure your recording arm is activated, make sure that's red. So that way you can press any note on your launch pad, press the right arrow key on your computer, and it draws in that note automatically based on the grid size that you have, which you can change by zooming in and out down here. So I would recommend doing that, it just makes it a lot easier. So now we're going to go into the effect. Um, I like to start this effect with these two notes over here. If I were to have this the, the bouncing effect start on the left, shoot up to the right and come down, so like uh, this first example I have here in my demo track, that, if I want to make that effect I'm going to start with the left. And if you want to make it pointing any other direction then you can adjust accordingly. So I'm going to start with these two left notes, and I'm going to draw them in, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to make them start at the left, and then bounce over to the right. Once it hits this wall, it's just going to come right back. So I drew in these two, and I'm going to draw in these next two, and just move on down the line. Just keep drawing in until it touches this wall, and then once it touches this wall, when I say wall, I mean just the edge of the launch bed. Once it touches this wall, it's just going to come right back. So as I'm touching these notes, I'm drawing them in, as you can see on my screen. So if I were to press, uh, press play right now, then I just have two lights moving across, hitting this part, bouncing back. Simple enough. Now I'm going to click in my MIDI clip in my piano roll so that this orange line is at the very far left. All that means is when I actually draw on a note now, it'll start from the beginning rather than after the end. Because I want these, the next things I'm going to draw on, I want them to start at the same time as the lights we just drew in. So I'm going to start. We started with these two, and I'm going to move up to the note right above these two uh, squares. So I'm going to start here, and I'm going to move all the way. Uh, I'm going to move this to the right, but not all the way. I'm going to stop at two lights short of this wall. So I'm going to start from here and move it to here. So I drew this note in. Oops, uh, I accidentally drew, in, drew it in twice. So I'm going to this note, this note, and then stop here, and then come back. So it's not going all the way. It's going two lights short, and it's coming back. And then I'm going to draw, do the same thing with this note up here, and I'm going to draw it in, but it's going to stop two lights shy of this one. So if you remember, this one stopped here, so I'm going to make this one stop two lights to the left. And then once it gets to that point, I'm going to draw it back. And then once again, I'm going to draw this note in, this note, and this note, if you see the pattern. So I just moved up these, uh, this these four um, in this column, and I had them move across the rows, but they stopped two lights before the one below it. So right now what I have is, I guess it kind of looks like a, a wave, if you saw my, uh, I think I made a, an effect, I called it the whip or something like that, it, it kind of looks like we're making that, because it has a similar style. So now I'm going to do the same thing on this bottom half, it's uh, just mirror, picture what I made here. And flip it. You can't just uh, copy and uh, paste that and then inverse it because it'd be messed up. But you can draw it in manually. It's pretty easy. So I'm gonna do the one below uh, this guy. Have it go over and stop two before the wall. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. Click back at the beginning. Draw this one in to here because that is gonna be too shy of this one. And then finally, this guy goes like that. And so I have that, which is actually the bulk of the effect itself. That's the majority 
of the work that you need to do. At this point, all you really need to do to change it to make it look a bit smoother is you highlight all of the notes that you made. And this is the part where you can uh, slow it down if you want, if you want it to be a little slower. Or, alternatively, you could speed it up, which looks kind of nice. But it still looks a bit choppy and not necessarily as smooth as it could be. And all you need to do to fix that is actually really easy. You just go to the end of one of the notes, as long as they're all highlighted, and make it so that there's a, this little bracket symbol. Your cursor will turn into a bracket. All you do is you click and drag to the right, and what that does is it extends the length that the light is turned on, so that way if you were to play it now, it's already looking a bit smoother. Now you can change it according to your liking, you can even drag it a little bit more, and that gives it even a little more of a, a smooth feel to it. Kind of feels like it's all flowing together. And then of course, as I always say, you can change colors, like I'll make it a white like I did in the beginning, or I can make it a, a red, for example. And then, it's real simple if you want to do it um, starting from the bottom. It's the same concept, just picture what I made here, and turn it 90 degrees. That's all you need to do, really, so I'll just quickly make that to show you how to do it. How to do it. So, uh, yeah, I'll just, I'll do it there. So I'm gonna, yeah, just make the same thing, make the same effect, but bouncing from the bottom. And then, once you get the hang of it, um, it's actually fairly simple, fairly straightforward, really. So then you just draw on each set, starting or going two lights shorter than before. So you get that, highlight them all, like this, maybe speed it up like I did with the other one, make it a, uh, an orange color. How's that sound? It's orange. And then extend the length of them so it's all smooth. Maybe I'll make it, just because the default color is already an orange, I'll make it uh, a green. There we go. And then at this point you can, well you don't have to do anything, that's, that's the, the bulk of the effect, but just to make exactly what I made in the intro. I'm going to move that over. All I did was uh, I highlighted it, moved it over. All I'm doing here is just, oh, I think I might have missed a uh, light there. Yeah, that makes sense, okay. So I need to make sure I get this guy selected. And then move them all over. There we go. And then you can um, select them all, copy, paste, inverse it, and then move it over. And then I think I need to adjust it up to here. Does that sound right? Yeah, yeah. And there you have it. Just to copy exactly what I made, I'll highlight everything, turn it into a white. Um, so then I'll solo my demo track, this is what I made at the beginning. And then I'm going to solo a MIDI track, and this is what we just made. There you have it. It's actually really simple once you get the hang of it. You just start at any one side, so maybe the left, maybe the right, bottom, doesn't really matter. Start in the middle of that wall, so like if it's the left wall, start with these middle two. Have them shoot over, hit the opposite side, bounce back, and then all the ones, uh, one out, one uh, row outwards from those, it stops two lights short of that one, bounces back, and then that pattern keeps repeating. And then you combine that all together, and you get this effect. And there you have it. That's all you got. That's, you finished. So hopefully you guys enjoyed, let me know if you actually ended up using this effect, maybe you, you uh, learned a little bit in this tutorial and you used it in your own videos, let me know, that'd be, that'd be pretty cool. So yeah, uh, sorry it's been a little while since I made my last tutorial video, I got caught up in other things, especially since school started, but uh, it's I like making these videos, so hopefully you like watching them too, uh, I'd like to make it worth it for you guys, I'd hate to put out content that you guys don't exactly want or need so hopefully you guys want like this i like making it we got a good system going on here so thank you for watching i really appreciate it and i will see you all in the next video